Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your daily general message for Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. Uh, 10 card spread, five above, five below. I did clarify the first card as well as an outcome and a clarifier. Interesting energy, I must say. Uh, let's get started. All right, you first start off, remember this is four, is the two of pentacles. So, yet again, another cute, funny message. Uh, it's kind of like, you know what, I've been trying in regards to the past. It's actually looking towards the past here. But I've been undecided, all right, feeling one pentacles up, one pentacles down. And I clarified it because I wanted to know more. And you get the six of pentacles. So, it's kind of like, look, you big dummy. You have the balance, okay? Stop dilly-dallying around. Stop tossing those bad boys up in the air. You know exactly what it, I mean, literally, you see how the finger is pointing over and he's all about the balance, you know? So, and if you add the two together, you got the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So the Eight of Pentacles is known for put in the work, you big dummy, you know, in regards to you just don't see it. You, do you see it now? You have the balance here. Make a decision. Make a choice here. Because right underneath it, no joke, Ten of Pentacles. This person is complete, okay? They know, you know, what they need to do. They're just kind of being stubborn and kind of still thrown up in the air about it, okay? Because this person originally stayed quiet. They always had the balance as well as what I'm feeling here. But they got confused because they didn't know what to do, all right? Now, they could have been a little overwhelmed with their thoughts, especially, hello, with the Seven of Cups. That's known for that confusion. But it's also known as an option. Take the option in regards to what you know is meant for you. The High Priestess here is one of the unknown because they were confused, okay, is what that tells me. Even more so with their thoughts. They were battling with their thoughts here because they didn't know what to do, okay? So what did they do? They turned and they were quiet, okay? But they always tried to make that choice, but they couldn't because they had one up, one down, off balance, okay? Now they have this balance here, and I feel that spirit definitely with that high priestess, and then the higher font right underneath it in regards to a relationship here, they're basically chiming in to this person and saying, look, do it, you know, you got your balance here, why don't you move forward, move forward already, all right, in regards to this relationship after you walked away because you were confused with your thoughts here and you didn't know what to do here. You've been manifesting, this person has been manifesting with their thoughts, but they've also been, which is kind of warped if you think about it, you got the five of wands here with the magician. So you're supposed to basically... Here it is, kids. You basically can't manifest when you're disturbed with your thoughts. I, I don't know how else to put that. If you're battling and you're trying to manifest, that's like that's like doing a that that that's not a good job. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. But but it's true. You know, I wish we all could do that, especially with the seven of cups being confused and battling with their thoughts. But they here it is. What I'm feeling here is that. This person got scared. This person got too much in their head. They started battling, you know. I feel a lot of regret in regards to why they walked away. I, you know you know when you do something really stupid and the minute that you do it, you're kind of like, oh, why did I do that? I wish I didn't do that. I wish I could take that back. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like the minute that they did it. And it's kind of like, but I'm, I'm manifesting. I want them back. I want them back. I want them back. But you can't properly manifest while, you're, while your mind is just kind of like mush with confusion and fighting and battling, right? So here's the outcome. Page of Cups. So somebody's coming in, is taking that chance, is take, making that decision to show action, to put the, put the right foot forward, buddy. You know, in regards to the Ace of Wands, that's a new start of action. You know, they, they always wanted... Exactly, it's success, because they're making me add the Ace of Wands with the Five of Wands, and then the Magician. So they always wanted, this is warped, they have always wanted the success in regards to this relationship. What I'm feeling here is that they got overwhelmed. When you have the High Priestess with the Hierophant right underneath it, 
that's some serious overtime in regards to the universe and spiritual action going on, okay, in my eyes. I feel, <clears throat> it's kind of like, I feel that, you see how the higher font's hands are actually kind of like, one's like, why'd you do that? You know, and he's turned looking at the Eight of Cups. So even Spirit's a little confused, like, why did you walk away? Well, you know, I was manifesting, I want this person back here, but I've been conflicted with my thoughts here. But you had it all along. You had this balance. You just remained to stay quiet here. And and, and now you're trying to make a decision. You're still a little topsy-turvy here. And, and somebody, is, I feel, from spirit is basically saying, dude, you have your balance. You know, you can make a decision. You've come to this completion of balance. Make it already, you know. But, and that's what they're going to do. They're going to turn around and they're going to offer that cup of love in hopes that they can get this person back because they've been manifesting some kind of warped way of doing that with the five of wands here to get them back because I don't know how they did it. I guess they combined, you know, that energy of battling with their thoughts here but still wanted to take the action. They were kind of very wishy-washy, you know, as to what to do, but they definitely manifested with their thoughts here to come back, communicate, offer that cup of love, hoping that they can get this new start of action. And that's what I got. Wow, interesting. You never know what you're going to get. But yeah, that's what I have. I hope that this helps, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, click that bell on the side to get updated information. You guys rock. Stay strong. Be safe out there. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.